Also making headlines tonight, a house fire in Fayetteville leaves one person dead and three others injured. Emergency crews responded to a house on Hummingbird Lane for that fire. Police say it started just after 5 this morning. There's no word yet on the condition of the three who were hurt in the fire. We do know they were taken to a hospital where they're being treated. No names have been released. The cause of that fire is still under investigation. Make sure to stay with 5 News as we continue to learn more. Making headlines across the nation, a judge in South Carolina sentenced disbarred attorney Alec Murdoch to life in prison without parole today for the 2021 murders of his wife and son. That sentence came less than 24 hours after a jury convicted him of those crimes. It was a stunning fall from grace for a man whose family held positions of power in the county he lived in for decades. Nikki Batiste has the latest from South Carolina. Alec Murdahl was led out of the court in handcuffs moments after he learned his fate. In the murder of your wife, Maggie Murdahl, I sentence you for a term of the rest of your natural life. For the murder of Paul Murdahl, I sentence you to prison for murdering him. Moments before, the disgraced lawyer again insisted he did not kill his wife, Maggie, or 22-year-old son, Paul, in June of 2021. I'm innocent. I would never hurt my wife, Maggie, and I would never hurt my son, Paul. Paul. The judge noted Murdahl's prominence in the community, saying the attorney had practiced law before him and that a portrait of Murdahl's grandfather, a former prosecutor, had hung in the courthouse before it was removed to ensure a fair trial. It was especially heartbreaking for me to see you go in the media from being a a grieving father to being the person indicted and convicted of killing them. It took jurors less than three hours Thursday to convict Murdahl on all counts. Guilty verdict. During the trial, Murdahl took the stand in his own defense and admitted stealing millions from his clients and firm. He also admitted he lied when he said he wasn't at the crime scene minutes before the murders. I think it hurt him 100%. I think it ultimately it hurt him in the end. But the defense says Murdahl had no choice once the jury heard about his alleged financial crimes. They would never, ever, ever acquit him after that. Murdahl's lawyers say they plan to appeal. Nikki Batiste, CBS News, Colleton County, South yes, Carolina. Sir. The victim's family members, including the parents and sister of Maggie Murdoch, declined to give impact statements before sentencing today.